Hello everyone, I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett and the verse I want to share with you today is in Psalms 26 verse 2. Um, I do want to say, you know, Dave, David was um, on the run almost the majority of his life and he had people after him and people trying to kill him and, and David had low, low moments and he had high moments. Folks, but th what this is about is he's saying the Lord is my light, okay? So verse 2, it says, examine me, O Lord. Uh, I mean, you know, God knows your mind. And God knows your heart, so therefore he knows your intentions. He knows whether you're good or bad. He knows whether you are truly repenting of your sins, folks. And David's saying, you know, David's saying, you know, no, you know, even though I'm going through what I'm going through today, oh Lord, you examine me, Father, because I have faith in you. So my question to you today is, do you have faith in God, or do you just celebrate when you're on the mountaintops? Because we're supposed to celebrate while we're in the valleys too, and we're not supposed to lose our faith in God. And I love this. He says, "Improve me." Now notice it says, "Prove." Prove me, folks. That that may that not tempt him. Prove means to test him. Uh, you know, our God is a consuming fire. Hebrews chapter 12, 29. And what does fire do to gold? It refines it. It makes it better. It makes it stronger. It makes it brighter, folks. And 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 David and David uh, Dave, David is saying, "Prove me." He's saying, "Test me. I will not falter. I will not take my eyes off of you. I will not lose my faith, folks. You can't lose your faith. You can't be double-minded and have wavering faith, depending on what's going on in your life. Jesus Christ promised that we would have trials and tribulations, but God is still sitting on the throne today, and you." cannot lose sight of that and lose faith in him all right then it says uh uh prove me and then it says try i'm sorry try my uh reins of my heart he says look into my heart oh lord and, fi and the Father knows your heart. You understand that? You, before you ever speak it or think it in your mind about a prayer, God knows your heart. And God knew that, that David loved him. And, and God himself would even say that David was a man after his own heart because he loved David's faithfulness. He loved David's courage, uh, folks. And, and no matter what David was faced with, he, he faced it with adversity. And look what he did to Goliath, a nine-foot-tall giant, when the the armies of Israel were quaking in their boots. He ran towards the enemy and he and he killed him with a stone. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, hit your share button, folks. Hit your share button. Hey, we are now brought to you by your tithes and offering. If we've helped you, help us to continue to come to you. Would you do that? God blesses those who bless him. Hey, me and my wife love you guys and your families are in our prayers each and every day. God bless you and thank you for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God.